Hello, 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 hello. Blessed Sunday, everyone. 12 hugs is Michelle. 12 hugs, 12 hugs, 12 hugs. Welcome, welcome to the Kaara Team Plus One channel. Blessed Sunday, everyone. Um, Let me open my cam. Hello, sis Michelle. 12 hugs sa'yo. Thank you so much. And um, Mace Balahi, Balahadia. Bala, bala, Mace. <laughs> Blessed Sunday, everyone. And also to the Kaara Team Plus One. Uh, welcome, welcome everyone here in our YouTube channel, in our Sunday message. Uh, let's welcome everyone. and. Uh, We pray and hope that everyone is doing well, and we thank God we are gathered here again today. Uh, even though our hectic time, our hectic, um, our our things that we need to uh, do and have to be done and needs to be done, uh, we still have time to. Uh, kailangan nating bigyan ng oras ang pan ang panginoon. Cloud, good morning, blessed Sunday sa you. Welcome to our. Uh, 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 Kaara Team Channel Plus One, extended to my channel in Rosalina R with Ji Chang Wook and uh, Sparkling Ideas with Nagmamahal Kong Ati Bo. Thank you, thank you so much, Cloud. Uh, Mega love shout out din sa iyo. And kay Sis Michelle, 12 hugs. Thank you, Sis Michelle. And uh, up until now, hindi mo nakalimutan yan. And ako din, I also um, make sure that Uh, kung saan man ako nagpunta, I also message the hugs so that we can grow together and then the growing spiritually is most important thing in our lives. So we thank you all so much for being here and let's welcome everyone. As of now, it's just me. Uh, ang co-host ko si Sis Analisa. She's busy right now. She can't come up in the live stream. So, um, Just me today. Uh, it's up to uh, nasa sa inyo kung akyat kayo, mag-offer kayo ng uh, praise and worship, one or two praise song. And But um, I started early. It's because I have to leave at 10.15. Um, I have to end the live stream at 10.15. So it's about 8 now, 8.00. 9, so about two hours and 15 minutes, I will be uh, giving you a message and then I will end my live stream. Uh, it's because uh, I have things to do, places to go, people to see. So uh, pasalamat tayo sa Panginoon na nandito tayo, we gather all together to communicate spiritually and physically not necessarily to touch but also communication wise wing lil good morning blessed sunday sa you thank you so much sis Le uh, wing lil uh, long time no see how you been um it's good to see you here in kaara team plus one's channel thank you so much uh, sis uh, wing lil no And I have my channel too, si Swing Lil. Maybe you can sub and listen to some kind of inspirational stories that I will share. And I am still sharing on my live stream in Rosalina R. Please support my channel so we can grow together, no? So we get to know each other also. That's important thing. As a friend uh, in this channel or in this community, the old and new and more to come. Uh, eh, para uh, we can build uh, a good foundation of friendship, All right. So we thank you all so much for being here and blessed Sunday everyone. And uh, the upcoming, um, let me see if I have upcoming, I don't have any clue. Um, Wing Lil, blessed Sunday, sabi ni Sis Michelle. Um, I don't have no report in the GC of what's the new upcoming unless if Ji Chang Wok will be will be here and will uh, no, will update you all the uh, upcoming live streams with our community with KTB, with Paul Donisa, with Michelle Tugadis channel um, and more 
uh, uh, Loris Jusai, Beth Beltran, they're also part of our community, especially in the evening, like in my hour, in Rosalina R. They always co communicate with me while during my live stream. And they shared my live stream also. So that's part of our extended community. So don't forget, wag natin kalimutan to share, share, share. And uh, like and subscribe. All right. Well, thank you all so much. Um, I know I'm kind of early, uh, about 15 minutes early, but it's okay. So because I'm already prepared anyway. Uh, for this morning so kaya i don't need to wait another 20 more minutes when i'm ready so i can finish early also amen so before we start um mag, mag praise mo na ako praise and worship mo na ako para Let's welcome the Holy Spirit for the goodness of God that um, we are here, we're alive. Um, we still breathing. God give us uh, a good a good day and a good health and also a uh, a better understanding of why Jesus is alive. So thank you so much for. For the meantime, uh, mag-praise and worship mo na ako. Then, uh, later on, later on, I will, uh, I will share the message. And, uh, I think the Ate Magtanding, sinagmamahal mo Ate mo, hindi pa nag-isig yata. But it's okay. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. And, uh, All right, humina yung boses. Ay, humina. Teka. Humina ang boses ko, sis Michelle. How about this one? How about ito, sis Michelle? Thank you so much, sis Michelle, ha, for communicating down there. God sent His Son. They call him Jesus. He came to love, heal, and forgive. He lived and died to buy my pardon. An empty grave is there to prove my Savior's sleep because he lives. I can face tomorrow because he lives. Oh, 
Ang Panginoon ay buhay. Ang Panginoon natin is buhay. Amen? So, huwag natin kalimutan dyan na bakit mayroong crucifixion, crucifixion leads to resurrection. I wasn't here last week. Wala ako last week. Kaya, I'm Gusto kong i-share. Sis Annalisa, Blessed Sunday, gusto kong i-share sa lahat na maski wala ako nung Sunday, mayroon din tayong team na, na praise and worship, nag-share na buhay ang Panginoon. Amen? So wag natin kalimutan yan. No matter what we face, ano mang hinaharap natin, sickness man yan, financial man yan, or anything lost man yan of our loved ones, we have our awesome God. Ang Panginoon ay buhay. Si Jesus ay buhay. So, yan ang, ang itanim natin sa ating puso that God, our God, is a living God. Okay? 
uh, amen to that. So, manghina man ang pakiramdam natin, manghina man ang loob natin, pero wag nating panghinaan ang pananampalataya natin. Oo. Kasi ang pananampalataya natin or faith, even as small as small as mustard seed can move mountain. And you have to believe that in your heart. You have to believe that in your heart. na ang Diyos natin ay buhay. Amen. So, May ano ako, may i, i, one more uh, worship song. And um, I'm going to start the message. So just bear with me sa ano natin, sa boses ko, but uh, I sing for God. So, God will do the judgment as long as my heart is for, when I sing, it's for Him. Siya na mag-magic dyan sa inyong mga ears. Amen? Iyamo Dio. Iyamo nun kami tiya me existen en tus manos está desde el momento fue despuerto hacia el anuncio yo cantaré de la bondad de Dios y mi vida ha sido Tu pilih dan sikit, 
Cancellation ako. Ayan. Alright. Juan, please welcome. Thank you so much, uh, Rishi. Hello. Dinig ko ako? Yes. 
So, gandang gabi po. Good evening, good evening, ah, good evening. Nawawala po yung signal ko, ano, try ko po itong, ano, yung, nuro nyo po sa akin. Ayan, sige. Basta, thank you so much, Sis Richelle, ha? Dai, uh, Richelle, uh, manghod. <laughs> Uh, sa pag-atyat, sa pag-offer ng praise and worship sa Panginoon, ha? Sige. Alright. Ginny Katakutan, hello. Blessed Sunday sa'yo. Alright. Mag-mute ako para ikaw na. Sige po. Alright. Bili ko na ito ngayon, ay. Bili ko ng ano, ah. Oh, yun na yung malulubat ito. Ano?
Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Richelle Baracuel, sa pag-offer of praise and worship sa ating Panginoon. Salamat, maraming salamat. Even ang Thank you, po, thank you. That you made it. Amen. Mahina po talaga yung net ko. Mahina po talaga. And thank you so much, ha? Alright. Maraming maraming thank salamat. Thank you po. Thank you. Bye-bye. And wag kayong Thank you po. Bye-bye po. Ito ang uh, message natin ngayon sa... Uh, Apo. Oh, alright. Sige, bye-bye. Ito ka lang sa comment section lang kayo ha. Makinig kayo sa mensahe natin bago ako aalis. No? Alright. Thank you, Sis Richelle and Dai. Uh, bunsong kapatid. Maraming maraming salamat na, na nabigyan mo yung uh, wish ko na hiling ko talaga na kantahin mo yan. And dito mo kinanta sa Kaara Team Channel Plus 1 natin. Maraming maraming salamat sa oh, sa offering. Offering yan sa Panginoon. Oh, amen. Mm. Ayan. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Ate Magtanding, blessed Sunday sa'yo ate. Ayan, tamang-tama. Andito na si ate ko. So, nag-praise and worship na kami. Sige lang ate, biji lang. Um, humihina talaga ang net ko, Ma'am Rosanina. Thank you po. Thank you din also, Richelle, ha, sa pag-offer uh, praise and worship sa Panginoon. Maraming salamat. Yes, yes. Uh, ako, hindi ako, hindi, hindi ako mahiya kumanta pag sa Panginoon. Maski insintunado, pero ang puso mo is straight para sa Kanya. Walang Uh, walang insintunado sa Panginoon. Kaya, I'm happy talaga. I'm blessed. We are blessed. Are you blessed? Amen? Type there, blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. We are blessed. Amen? Type down there in comment section bago tayo mag-umpisa. Kasi maganda ang mensahe natin ngayon. Dahil, nung Sunday, wala ako. Nagkasakit ako. Grabe ang sakit ko. Uh, and then, um, ngayon, eh, no, no, last Sunday, na, ang, hindi ako makapagsalita, kundi ubo ng ubo. We are blessed. Amen. I'm blessed. Amen. Amen. Si, si Michelle, sabi niya, we are blessed. Yes. And si Michelle, I'm blessed. Amen. We are blessed. And si Ate Maktan, blessed Sunday. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig. Sa comments also dyan, to communicate with the host. We are blessed. Amen, says Annalisa. We are blessed. Amen. So, uh, ngayon, kasi wala ako nung Sunday, gusto kong i-continue yung, yung mensahe na ibigay ko sa inyo. Uh, hindi man ito sabihin na, ay, last week na yun ng mensahe, ayaw ko nang ibigay ngayon. No. Kasi ang Panginoon natin, every day new in the morning. The message is new in the morning. The blessing is new in the morning. So the same, the message is the same sa scripture based on the Bible, the scripture is from God. So, hindi ko nasayangin ang, ang oras na ito na hindi ko may share sa inyo. Dapat i-share ko talaga ito sa inyo. Para tayong lahat maka, makaintindi or maintindihan natin ano talaga ang resurrection. Ano talaga ang crucifixion? Ano talaga ang pagkabuhay ni Jesus? Bakit ganyan? Bakit na ganito? So gusto kong i-share sa inyo para maintindihan ninyo. Okay, we, let's welcome uh, everyone. And um, uh, let me see here. Um, he is risen. Okay, so... Um, let's welcome the uh, 
the message of the Holy Spirit will fall on us that makuha natin, malagay natin sa puso natin ang mensaheng ito. So let us pray. Lord, Father God in heaven, Lord, we thank you so much. We praise you. We glorify your name, Lord. We thank you for all this day and the blessings that not only today, but the forward of the blessings and also your son, Jesus Christ, the resurrection and the love that he has for us. Thank you so much, Lord, and bless this message today in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. And I share this, Lord, use me as an instrument, Lord, that sila ang nakikinig ngayon, Lord, na maintindihan nila ito, matanggap kanila sa puso nila, Lord. Ito ang mensahe, Lord, na ishare ko sa kanila. Guide me, Lord, na ikaw, ang mag, mag-guide sa bibig ko to share to them. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa grasya, sa strength na binigay mo sa amin, sa lahat na kaayuhan na gihatag ni mo sa amo, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord, and bless this message today. And each one that has ears to hear, let them hear and teach them Help them to open their hearts and also their spiritual ears, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Maraming salamat. Akyat ako, samahan kita. Sige, ate. Teka, eh. Ay, okay. Aha, okay. Good. Thank you, ate. Hello, ate NC. Even. Oh, good morning. <laughs> samahan kita para hindi ka masyado, ano? Ah, sige, te. Thank you, Teha. Maraming salamat. You're welcome, sweetie. Okay. All right. Uh, nakalimutan ko. Anong pizza ngayon? Kalimutan ko. Uh, seven. April 7 today. Today is April 7. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Blessed Sunday. Thank you so much for being here, being part of our Sunday, uh, Sunday Word, blessing from the Word of God, and also uh, crucifixion lead by resurrection by Sister uh, Rosalina today. Uh, the message is, uh, uh, this message is, uh, I'm looking forward to it. So uh, be patient. You don't know that our sister is not uh, is recovering right now, so let's just pray that you know she will be healed right away, so that we can get her full attention, her and en- herself, her energy, and everything. I know everybody miss her, miss her a lot, and I do miss her a lot. <laughs> so you know her normal uh, ways. Uh, I like her okraye, you know, when she does okray okray to all of us. So that's part of her that I miss a lot. So anyway. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys have her, and I know you guys are looking forward to hear her and also me. So let's learn something from her today, and let us be blessed from the Lord through her and the wisdom that she had spent so much time to learn this wisdom to uh, pass on to us and learn about the Lord. So uh, let's go. Let's get ready. Thank you, guys. Love you, guys. Let's be blessed. Okay. Eh, pasensya ka na. Echo queen, echo queen talaga. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Amen. Amen. We are blessed on that one. Amen. Okay. Um, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 Corinto 15, ang muling pagkabuhay ni Kristo. Mga kapatid, ngayon ipinapaalala ko sa inyo ang magandang balitang ipinagpinangaral ko sa inyo. Iyan ang magandang balitang inyong tinanggap at naging saligan ng inyong pananampalataya. Naliligtas kayo sa pamamagitan nito. Kung matatag ninyo, pinaghahawakan ang salitang ipinangaral ko sa inyo, maliban na lamang kung walang kabuluhan ang inyong pagsam palataya sapagkat ibinigay ko sa inyo bilang pinakamahalaga sa lahat ang tinanggap ko rin na si Kristo na matay dahil sa ating mga kasalanan 
tulad ng sinasabi sa kasulatan. Inilibing siya at muling nabuhay sa ikatlong araw tulad din ng sinasabi sa kasulatan at siya ay nagpakita kay Pedro at saka sa labindalawa. Pagkatapos nagpakita siya sa mahigit na limandaang kapatid na nagkatipon. Marami sa kanila buhay pa hanggang ngayon, subalit patay ang ilan. At nagpakita rin siya kay Santiago at pagkatapos ay sa lahat ng mga apostol. Sa kahuli-huling nagpakita rin siya sa akin kahit na ako'y tulad ng isang batang ipinanganap nang wala sa panahon sapagkat ako ang ipinaha kahamak ng mga apostol ni hindi nga ako karapat dapat tawagin isang apostol sapagkat inusig ko ang iglesia ng Diyos ngunit dahil sa kagandahang loob niya ako ay naging isang apostol at hindi naman nawala ng kabuluhan ang kaluob niyang ito sa akin katunayan nagpagal ako ng higit kaysa sinuman sa kanila subalit hindi ako hindi ito dahil sa sarili kong kakayahan kundi dahil sa kagandahang loob ng Diyos na nasa akin kaya maging ako o sila ito ang ipinangaral namin at ito ang paniniwalaan ninyo Amen. In English, now brothers and sisters, I want to remind you that the gospel I preached to you, which you have received and on which you have taken your stand, by this gospel you are saved. If you hold firmly to the word I preached to you, otherwise you have believed in vain. For what I received, I passed on to you as of first importance importance that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures that he was buried that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures and he appeared to Cephas and then to the twelve after that he appeared to more than 500 of the brothers and sisters at the same time, most of whom are still living, though some all have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles, and last of all, he appeared to me also as to one abnormally born. For I am the last of the apostles and do not even deserve to be called one apostle, one apostle. Because I persecuted the church of God, but by grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace to me was not without effect. Now, no, I work harder than all of them, yet not I, but the grace of God that was with me. Whither then did it is I or they. This is what we preach and this is what you believe. Amen. Maraming salamat, Lord. So, in Luke 24, chapter 24, verse 1 to 7, But every early on Sunday morning, the women went to the tomb, taking the spices they had prepared, they found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. What a good news! So they went in, but they didn't find the body of the Lord Jesus. As they stood there puzzled, two men suddenly appeared to them, clothed in dazzling robe. The women were terrified and bowed with their face to the ground. Then the man asked, Why are you looking among the dead for someone who is alive? Isn't he here? He is risen from the dead. Remember 
what he told you back in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be betrayed into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and that he would raise again on the third day. I would like to talk to you about he is risen. This is so true that our Lord Jesus, our Lord God, he is risen. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. You can comment down there, He is risen. Tayo mga Pilipino, sanay tayo kapag Holy Week is a holiday vacation season. But interesting, in this generation and in this year, even since, bago pa itong mag-start ang Holy Week, ay tayo po ay nakabakasyon na, like me. But unfortunately, I was sick, but still, I had my vacation before the Holy Week, okay? So, but nevertheless, I want to remind you that Passion Week or Holy Week, it's not just holiday. This is a very special occasion, my friend, mga kapatid, because the cross happened this week. Sa pamamagitan ng araw na ito, napapaalala sa atin ang ginawa ni Kristo sa bawat isa sa atin that through the cross there has been a divine exchange na meron tayong debt we owed a debt that we could not pay but someday but somebody through the person of our Jesus Lord Lord Jesus Christ paid that price, mga kapatid. But that somebody, that someone paid our sin. He paid the price. We were once lost. We were once broken. We were once blind. But through the love of Christ, through his power and his grace, Jesus came for you. Amen? Hindi tayo ang umakyat sa langit, pero yung langit mismo ang bumaba para sa bawat isa't isa sa atin. 2,000 years ago, when Jesus came, ang kanyang mission ay hindi political. The mission of our Lord Jesus Christ is not political but actually spiritual. 2,000 years ago, back then, ang mga ine-expect ng mga Jewish people na yung Messiah darating na inaantay nila ng 400 of years already. Ang akala nila, itong Messiah na darating is a political leader. Akala nila, itong Messiah dadating ay may magliligtas sa kanila mula sa pananakop o bandage ng Roman soldier or mga Roman empire. Pero hindi alam na noong dumating ang ating Panginoong Hesus, ang Misaya, ang kanilang inaantay for 400 years, wala silang kamalay-malay na sila ay sasagipin ng Panginoon sa mas matinding bandage which is a bondage of sin. At ito, itong pinakamagandang balita sa bawat isa't isa sa atin na maaaring ikaw ngayon ay feel guilty o feel ashamed o ikaw ay nahihiya sa ating Panginoon. Let me just remind you, mga kapatid, that Jesus came 2,000 years ago. Si Jesus ay pumunta dito sa ating lugar 2,000 years ago, not as a judge, but as a savior. Not as a judge, but as savior. Kung ikaw ay makasalanan at si Jesus pumunta rito bilang judge, we are in trouble. But thank God, He came here not as judge, but as Savior, that he is, that this is a good news as a sinner like you and me. 
Kung tayo ay makasalanan, magandang balita mga kapatid na si Jesus ay pumunta rito para tayong lahat ay iligtas. Ang 2,000 years ago, mga kapatid, He was hung on the cross for six hours from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Alam ninyo, interesting kapag kayo'y nanonood sa Passion of Christ movie o kayo ay nagbabasa ng scripture, there are some parts habang si Jesus ay nakapako sa cross na ang sinasabi ng ibang tao. O akala ko ba siya ay misaya? O akala ko ba siya ay si Jesus na siya ay Diyos? Bakit hindi niya kayang iligtas ang kanyang sarili? Na ang tanong ng mga taong nandoon siguro sa kanilang isipan or even the disciples, marahil ang kanilang iniisip, Why is He not doing anything kung siya ay talaga ay misaya? Nagpapagaling siya ng mga bulag? Pinalakad niya ang mga pilay? At and even si Lazarus na patay, binuhay niya. Why can't He save Himself? So you and I also ask, the same people back then, the same people now ask, bakit hindi niya niligtas ang sarili niya? Uh, let me tell you something. Why? Why he can't save himself? Why he is not doing anything on the cross? Let me tell you something. Bakit wala siyang ginagawa? Maybe at this point in our life, pwedeng iniisip ninyo, bakit nga ba ang Diyos parang walang ginagawa? Sa COVID-19, kaya example, parang ang Diyos hindi niya ine-exercise ang, ang yung kanyang kapangyarihan na nangyari sa mundong ito. Let me just say this. God is always intentional. Everything has a purpose. When He does something, He has a purpose. And we When he does nothing, he has a purpose. It may look nothing to you. It may look like dead end. Kung ang sitwasyon mo may look nothing to you, it may look hopeless to you, it may look like a dead end to you, it may look like an impossible situation, it may look like that God is not doing anything about this virus or disease or financial issue. But let me tell you this, mga kapatid. Praise the Lord. It may look nothing, but praise the Lord because it may look nothing, but God is doing something. Amen? Amen. He's always in control. Amen. He has a purpose. Ang challenge sa ating Panginoon in times like this is always be faithful. Amen. And trust God no matter what. Always be faithful and also trust God no matter what. Kung, kung si Abraham nagantay ng 25 years at kanilang mag, maging 100 years old pa siya bago ipanganak si Isaac. Ang promise son, kung saan si Noah nagantay ng 120 years to build the ark and for the flood to came, nagantay si Noah ng 120 years. Mm -hmm. ang, ang mga Israelite na sa journey in the desert for 40 years and actually if you read the Bible, talagang sinadya pa ng Lord na padaanin sila sa long route going to the promised land. Amen. Which made me realize, mga kapatid, all the more na kailangan tayong magtiwala sa ating Panginoon. Because God has a purpose for everything. Kung may ginagawa ang Diyos, may purpose ang Diyos. Kung walang ginagawa ang Diyos, meron pa rin purpose ang Panginoon. Sometimes, God will change your route to change your heart. Amen. Amen. Sometimes, idadaan tayo ng Panginoon sa mga salimuot sa mga parte ng ating buhay 
Kasi gusto tayong buh- baguhin ng ating Panginoon. And there, there, Jesus was 2,000 years ago. He was crucified for six hours. But finally, after six hours, He finally cried out, My purpose yun. Tatalay isti, sabi niya. It's finally cried. It is finished. It is done. Actually, sa mababaw na English, it is done deal. It's already done. Parang kapag ikaw ay may pinag-aralan at yung anak mo gumagraduate na it's done. Diba? Mm-hmm. Ikaw, kung anak mo gumagraduate, nagraduate na siya, it's done. I believe that praise. It is finished. It is the greatest proclamation ever made to man. I believe that's the greatest proclamation ever made to us, to all of us. Who would have thought, mga kapatid, na yung sinabi ng ating Panginoon na it is finished will echo and will continue to echo to all around the world. Hanggang ngayon, mga kapatid, more than 2,000 years later, we are still hearing that praise. It is done. It is finished. Why? Yung salitang it is finished Yung salitang done deal, it is done. Ang mga salitang ito ay reminder that all sufferings will end. It is a reminder that all hardship, gaano man kahirap ang buhay mo ngayon, this too shall pass. This will end. That is a bad, horrible day 2,000 years ago. Jesus died on Friday, and we call it a good Friday. We're really thinking about that. Me too, I'm, I'm thinking about that. Why is it called Good Friday? But let me explain to you back it. Actually, noong una, I don't want to vote na pangalanan siya na Good Friday. It was a bad Friday for Jesus. It was a terrible Friday. It was a horrific Friday. Mas maganda yata ang horrible Friday because Jesus died on that Friday. But you know what? It is called Good Friday. It's a revelation because it led to Resurrection Sunday. Ang binasa natin kanina sa Luke 24.1, on a Sunday morning, ang sinabi ng anghel, doon sa mga young women na nagpunta doon sa tomb. Why are you looking for living among the dead? For someone who is alive. He is not there. He is risen. He is alive. Jesus is alive. Jesus is risen from the dead. That itself is a revelation. That itself some of you needed to hear this. Your God is not dead. Jesus is not dead. Hindi sinabing Jesus was alive. He is alive. You see the difference there? The was and is? He is alive. At present, buhay ang ating Panginoon. The tomb is empty. Magandang reminder, mga kapatid. Ang mga building ng church ngayon is empty, but the tomb is empty as well. He is not there. He is risen. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng Good Friday may lead to Resurrection Sunday. The crucifixion doesn't end in death. Crucifixion end in Resurrection. The weeping may end in joy. The mourning will turn into dancing. God will bring you from darkness to light, from labor to favor, 
From death to life, mga kapatid. From luck to abundance. From sickness to health. From bondage to freedom. God will bring you to place that you've never been. Because through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, pinapaalala sa atin ng Panginoon, ang Diyos ay makapangyarihan. And He has a purpose for everything. Ano mang Good Friday moment na pinagdaanan natin, a loss of a loved one, relationship issue, hindi diya natatapos ang lahat. May Resurrection Sunday, mga kapatid. My friends, there is a time that we will experience God's generosity, God's provision, God's healing, and God's power. Ang Resurrection Sunday ay nagpapatunay ang kapangyari ng kapangyarihan ng ating Panginoong Isus. The Resurrection's prove His deity. If you think about it, the cross shows that Jesus is a man, but the resurrection showed us that Jesus is God. You have to be reminded, your God is alive. Your God is risen, that He is alive. And that gospel is not a gospel without resurrection. If there is no resurrection, our declaration of Jesus Christ worthless is meaningless. In fact, kung si Jesus, kung hindi na buhay muli, he will lose his credibility. Amen? Three things na magpapaalala sa atin na every time na dumadaan tayo sa Resurrection Sunday, I hope this reminds you The Resurrection Sunday reminds us that all sufferings will end. That all sufferings will end. All the Good Friday, all the sufferings, all the pain, all the sickness through our Lord Jesus Christ will experience transformation, will experience resurrection. Ano mang dry bones, ano mang dead situation, dead passion in your life, all Good Fridays will lead to Resurrection Sunday. All trials will lead to triumph. All testing will lead to testimony. And all mess will lead to messages. For so many years, We have been slaves of sin. Satan had our past. Tayo'y kinoconquer ng ating emosyon, ng ating kaaway at ni Satanas. Satan had our past, but with God, your future is bright. Amen? Because of Jesus Christ. When we look back on our history, we look back on our past, huwag kayong lilingon sa nakaraan bilang inyong destinasyon. No, that's not your destination. Your past is not your destination. Your past could be your inspiration but not a destination. Your past is not your destination. It will be, it can be inspiration. Bakit mga kapatid, mas ma-appreciate natin ang Resurrection Sunday dahil Good Friday. We appreciate the Resurrection because we saw Jesus died on the cross. That's why we so happy. We celebrate because Jesus was dead but now He is alive. So ganun din sa ating buhay, my friends. Your story is better when you experience struggles. Ang kwento natin, mas maganda kapag may mga Good Friday moment at kapag naka-experience tayo ng Resurrection Sunday. 
ng resurrection moment ng ating buhay, we will tend to appreciate God more. Because of His power and His grace. Ibig sabihin, kung may piklat ka, yung piklat na yan has a story to tell. Lahat ng piklat may kwento. At kung ikaw may mga scars in your, ba- in your life, battle scars, maaaring emotional scars, all of these things, mga kapatid, has a story to tell. Pero what made a good story is the struggles that we face, the pain that we experience. It's all the struggles that you've been through. Sometimes, mahirap maniwala sa provision ng Diyos dahil sa ating thinking, dahil sa pinagdaanan natin. Sabi natin, Lord, gusto ko nang sumuko. Sometimes you all do that. And sometimes, it's hard to believe in an unlimited God because we have limited strength. Let me tell you again. Sometimes, it's hard to believe in an unlimited God because we have a limited strength, limited time, limited resources, and living in a limited world. Our finite mind limit the infinite God. Limit the supernatural God. But let me just tell you, mga kapatid, the Resurrection Sunday will remind you that all suffering will end. That struggle will end. Number two, Resurrection Sunday reminds us that with God, all things are possible. Sa Resurrection Sunday, pinapaalala sa atin ng Panginoon na walang imposible sa Diyos. Amen? God is beyond time and space. Hindi bound ang Diyos sa oras. He is the resurrection and He is the life and with God, nothing shall be impossible. Also remind us, if He is the Alpha and the Omega, if He is the beginning and the end, do not ever allow what's going on in the world to affect what's going on with your heart. Sa panahon na parang ikaw ay nasa limit na, when you are at your limit, when you feel like quitting, when you feel like you've given up, when you feel like you want to throw in the towel, always remind yourself, the best is yet to come. Always remind yourself, with God, all things shall be impossible. What be the difference? What change? Ano ang nabago? It's just your perspective. It still face the same problem, the Goliath, the same Jericho wall, but you have a different perspective, meaning pananaw. Perspective is everything. Mindset is everything. And when you are in the Resurrection Sunday, my friends, Always remind you, matindi man ang Jericho wall, malaki man ang mga gulayat sa buhay mo, but with God, my God, nothing shall be impossible. It is about, it's all about perspective, pananaw. Kung ikaw, till example, kung ikaw may restaurant owner ka ng restaurant, nakita mong restaurant mo na punong-puno is just a perspective. 
Anong makikita mo? Anong nakikita mo? Limitation na wala na kayong upuan? Or is it an opportunity for expansion? So it's all about your perspective. Is it a limitation or opportunity for expansion? So whatever you are going through, it is just our perspective. Kapag ikaw ay dumadaan sa matinding problema, kung ikaw ay na-diagnose na terminal sickness, kung ikaw ay dumaranas ng financial difficulty or bankruptcy, anong tingin mo rito? Is it a dead end or an obstacle? The same issue, different perspective. Bakit, mga kapatid? Why? Your mind will say, it is impossible. Mag-quit ka na, sumuko ka na. But the Word of God is saying, nothing shall be impossible with God. He is the God that can part the Red Sea. He is the same God that put coins sa bibig ng isda. He is the same God that raised the very dead, four days dead, ni Lazarus. Mga kapatid, let me tell you, He is the same God that hold the universe at the palm of His hand. It makes no sense, makes perfect sense, because God is in it. The nonsense makes perfect sense when God is always in it. Ang fear na lilimitahan tayo, ang doubt na lilimitahan tayo, ang worry na lilimitahan tayo. In fact, the sin in our heart will limit you. Pero ang Diyos natin, nothing shall be impossible. He's not bound by time and space. Even your worst sin cannot stop God. No limitation cannot stop God from loving you. The forgiveness is available. Ang kapata kapatawaran ay willing ibigay sa iyo ng Diyos for free. So kung ikaw ay nasa tipping point, di mo alam ang gagawin, ang limitation mo, mga kapatid, is an opportunity for you to grow. Your limit is an opportunity for you to trust God even more. Bakit? Kapag tayo'y nahihirapan, gustong sumuko, natatakot, Anong sinasabi ni Lord? Don't be afraid. Anong sinasabi ng Lord? Stand still. Anong sinasabi ng Panginoon? Magtiwala ka sa akin. And then, sa isip mo, parang sinasabi mo, magtiwala. Alam mo ba, Panginoon, ang sitwasyon ko ngayon? Lord, huwag akong matakot. Nakakatakot ang sitwasyon ko. Sabi mo, Lord, stand still. Anong gagawin ko? Anong gagawin ko? Lagi tayong ganun. But let me tell you, always remind yourself, mga kapatid, God has enough vantage point. God has enough perspective para sabihin sa'yo, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Kasi hawak ng Diyos ang ating future. He is not bound by time and space. So God can do through you what you cannot do for yourself. So kung, gan kung hindi mo kayang gawin, kayang gawin yan ng Panginoon sa pamamagitan mo. You have to remind yourself 
if God is resurrected from the, from the day, if Jesus was risen and he is alive, you can do more because you are designed for more. God designed for more. You are the overcomer. You are chosen. You are anointed. You are validated. Accepted. You are approved. Children of the Most High. If you don't think that way, you won't live that way. Ang physical body may limitasyon. Sa physical body may impossible. Ang pasensya may limitasyon. Ang finances, finances may limitasyon. But hey, it's, res it's res Resurrection Sunday. It reminds us that all things are possible. So kung wala, kung wala ang finances, may limitasyon. It's Resurrection Sunday. It is a reminder that all things are possible. So kung wala kang pera, it's an opportunity for God to supply some more. Ibig sabihin, no more is an opportunity for some more. You have to see your life the way God sees your life. Kung wala na, it is an opportunity para bigyan tayo ng ating Panginoon. Because this Resurrection Sunday reminds us that all sufferings will end. Amen? That with God, all things are possible. Resurrection Sunday reminds us Jesus' victory is your victory. Ang katagumpayan ni Jesus ay katagumpayan mo din. Ang sabi ng scripture, as He is, so you are in this world. As Jesus is, so we are. Sabi nga ni, ni Paul, I am crucified with Christ. Ibig sabihin, sin is crucified with Christ. My shame is crucified with Christ. My guilt is crucified with Christ. My fear, my worry, my sickness, the curses of all, of all crucified with Christ. Jesus overcame death. Ang sabi nga ng Romans 6, Death, where is your sting? Death has no hold on him. Hindi, niya, hindi na tayo dapat matakot sa kamatayan, mga kapatid. Because in reality, we are all die in some point. We are not just aging, we're dying. But look at what Jesus has done. The greatest victory is the victory over death. And has as he is. So, are you in this world? As Jesus is, so you. So are you in this world? Jesus and always be victorious. So are you. You are victorious. Not because you are good, magaling, may pinag-aralan. No, 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 no. You are victorious because Jesus is victorious. You can live victorious here on earth as Jesus is. So we are in this world. Kahit nasa earth ka pa, you can live victorious life. Hindi mo kailangang hintayin mapunta ka sa langit para maranasan ang victory. You are blessed, you are victorious today, you are blessed today, and your blessedness is not based on your condition. May laman ang ITM, may laman ang wallet, no, 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 no. You are blessed, your blessedness is not based on your condition, but is based on your possession as long as you are in Christ. Remember that, mga kapatid. Your blessedness is not based on your condition, but is based on your position in as long as you are in Christ. You are blessed. 
you are prosperous, you are victorious, is not about what other people say to you. Hindi ito patungkol sa sinasabi ng kaibigan mo, ng kapamilya mo, ng kapatid mo. No, 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 no. No. It's not about what other people are saying to you that you are not victorious, that you are not blessed. No, no. It's not their conclusion. It's God's confirmation. Amen? Jesus won the victory. Jesus came out of the grave. Think about that. I can feel it in my spirit. Jesus came out of the grave. As he is, so am I. So if Jesus came out of the grave, so you can come out of your depression. If Jesus came out of the grave, you can come out of your anxiety. If Jesus came out of the grave, you can come out of your insecurity. You can come out of your of that poverty. You can come out of that sickness. You can come out of that fear. Ano sabi niya? Lazarus, come out. Lazarus came forth. Jesus overcame the grave. You can overcome whatever circumstances. You can come out of this fire and harm. His victory is your victory. His death is your victory. His death is our victory. His victory over death is my victory over sin. His victory over death is my victory over my financial struggle. His victory over death is my victory over sickness. And I claim it in Jesus' name. His victory over death is my victory over struggle. His victory over death is my victory over pain. His victory over death is my victory of my poverty. Whatever circumstances I am in, as he is, so am I in Jesus Christ. This Resurrection Sunday reminds me that Jesus' victory is my victory. I want you to be reminded that all suffering will end. I want to be reminded that nothing shall be impossible with God. I want you to be reminded that Jesus' victory is also my victory. It was also your victory. I want you to be reminded that Jesus' victory is also my victory. What must I do? Anong pwede kong gawin para maranasan ang lahat ng bagay na ito? It's an interesting question. If you read your Bible, you'll be reminded this rich young ruler who asked, the same question. I want that eternal life, sabi ng young, young rich ruler sa Bible. I want that eternal life. I want to experience the abundance. But what must I do, Lord? Can you imagine this, his rich young ruler? Walang, wala ka nang hihingiin. Rich, mayaman siya. Young, he have the strength. And he is the ruler. You are the ruler. You have the authority. Ano pa ba ang kailangan mo? And yet, this abundance, this power, this youthfulness cannot satisfy him. So he's asking the question, what must I do? Or maybe you are a Christian. You are asking the question, What can I do, Lord? Para ipakita ko sa iyo, Lord, na mahal na mahal ko siya, mahal na mahal kita. 
Kailangan po bang kumanta ng malakas, Lord? Kailangan po bang mag-fasting ng matagal? Magbasa ng maraming chapter sa Bible? No, my friend. No, no, no. No, no, my friend. No. It's not about what you can do for God. It's all about what Jesus did for us. That He came and died and rose from the dead for you and for me. Tinalikuran mo ang Diyos, pero hindi ka tinalikuran ng ating Panginoon. He loves you. He is always with you. He is with you when you are healthy, and He is always be with you when you are sick. He is with you in your success. But He's always be with you in your failure. He is with you in your wow days, but He is also with you in your ow days. He is with you in your Sundays, but He is also with you in your Mondays. It's not about the religion that I'm offering you. I'm offering you a relationship with Jesus Christ. Restored a relationship, if you may. Because religion will make you proud of yourself, but the gospel will make you proud of your Savior, which is Jesus Christ. The religion will say, get out, get out. You are not qualified here. But the gospel will say, you are not qualified, but come in Jesus has paid it all for you and for me. My closing prayer, the acceptance and repentance. I want to encourage you, mga kapatid, if you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, or maybe you are a Christian and you want to restore your relationship with God, I want to invite you, mga kapatid. I want to invite you in this very special Resurrection Day Sunday. It's a reminder, whatever going through your suffering, whatever you're going through, your suffering will end. Whatever you are going through, there is nothing impossible with God. Whatever you are going through, mga kapatid, Jesus' victory is your victory. Let Him come into your heart and be a God and a Savior in your life. If you are that person ngayon na nakikinig sa akin, I don't know kung kanino ito, mensaheng ito, I don't know who am I talking to. Maybe you are the different parts of the world and you need Jesus. You know yourself na kailangan mo si Kristo. You know that you cannot live without Jesus. You know that Jesus was the best thing that ever happened to you. Pero kinalimutan mo na siya. I would like to invite you into a prayer. Let us accept again Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Let us be reminded, mga kapatid, what Jesus has done in our life. If you want Jesus to be the center of your life, if you want Jesus to be the driver in your life, I want to encourage you, mga kapatid, right at this moment, to accept Him as your Lord and Savior. Kung ikaw, ikaw man yan, my friends, wherever you are, mag-comments kayo dyan. Comments kayo, I would like to pray with you. I want you to pray this prayer and repeat after me. Say it like you mean it in your heart and from your heart. 
Amen. Thank you, Sister Michelle. I want you to pray this prayer and repeat after me. And let us pray. Panginoon, marami pong salamat sa araw na ito. Salamat dahil alam ko na ikaw ay mapagmahal, binigay mo ang iyong sarili para sa akin. Sa oras na ito, I acknowledge makasalanan ako at hindi ko kayang iligtas ang aking sarili. Sa oras na ito, magdesisyon ako na buksan ang aking puso. Pumasok ka at maging Panginoon ng aking buhay. Marami pong salamat sa Panginoong Hesus. Amen. And if you pray that prayer, I believe that you are born again, my friend. What a wonderful and amazing time. And if you pray that prayer, will you comment down below so you can so we can celebrate with you everything what Jesus has done. This Resurrection Sunday remind us na walang kasalanan na magpahiwalay sa atin sa Panginoon kasi ang Diyos na lagi nang nag-aantay sa ating muling pagbalik. Receive the blessings from our God now that God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing that you may abound in hope the power of Holy Ghost each day and each night that you place yourself under his keeping I declare you shall not be forgotten you shall be destroyed you shall not be destroyed you shall not be imprisoned you shall not be harassed by evil power bless this house bless this community bless our team bless our supporters Bless our giving and our receiving. Bless our words and our conversation. Bless our hands in our recreation. Bless our sowing and our growing. Bless our coming and our going. Bless all who enters and depart. Bless this house, your peace impart. The Lord will watch over you from this time and forever. May the love in your heart give you joy. May the greatness of life bring you peace. May your days be good. Lives belong. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his peace shine on you. Be gracious to you. Turn his face towards you and give you peace. And may blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all so much for your support. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mag-praise and worship ka ate. Yes. Ow, ow, okay, amen. Ow, Sige ow. ate, go ahead. Go ahead. Inom ka muna ng tubig. Okay, dry, then. Ang dry na yun. Right, guys. Okay. Thank you, guys, for listening. Uh, I pray that you are all blessed with the words of God, and um, I just want to pray over everyone also. Like, uh, uh, Father God, thank you so much for your victory. You're giving us uh, every knowledge of what you have done, and everyone in this world have knowledge about you, Father God. Jesus Christ, you have loved us. And you are you have been a steadfast to unbelievable um, faithful to all the things that you have done for us and you should you should you have set an example for us father god um, let let us search you let us come to you and run to you instead 
Thank you so much, O oh Father God, for all your word and that you have saved us in our walk. You are with us, within us, beside us, in front of us, O oh Father God. You know ahead what's happening to us. And you have, uh, you have given us a salvation to come to us, uh, to come to you, Father God. So um, I pray, O oh Father God, that we realize it and that from now on, O oh Father God, we just keep on coming to you for, for our heart desires you, oh Father God. I want to come home and all, every one of my loved ones, my family, my friends, and everyone that we touch in this world, oh Father God. We want to come home to you. You have the key for us to be able to enter. You are waiting for us, oh Father God. And I am rejoicing and looking forward for those days that I be coming home to you, Father God, and you're holding my key, oh Father God. And when I come back to you, oh Father God, I know you are in front and you'll be rejuvenated and very happy to see you. In Jesus' name, Almighty God, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for all of us. You don't really care for music, do you? It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major hit, the final king composing. Hallelujah. 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 Your faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof. Her beauty and the moonlight overtree you. She tied to her in kitchen chair. She broke your throne. She cut your hair and from your lips. She drew. Hallelujah, 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 oh yeah. Oh, Father God, thank you for sending Jesus to us. And maybe there's God above, but all I ever learned from love was how to shoot somebody who I drew young. It's not a cry that you or night, it's not someone who sees the light, it's a call that's broken. Hallelujah, oh yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.
Thank you, Jesus, for your blood that you had died for us in the cross. And you redeem us. You redeem my sin, oh, Father God. I was a wretch. I remember who I was. I was left and I was left. I was running out of time. Sin separated. The breeze was far too wide from, from the far side of my chance. Yes, help me in your sight. So you made a way across the great divide. Left behind heaven's throne to build here inside. And there's all the cross you paid the death I own. Broken chain freed my soul. For the first time I had hope. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood of Thank you, Jesus, if I had was me, you are. Thank you, Jesus, you have saved my life and brought me from the darkness into glorious light. You were buried for three days, but said you walk right out again. Now death has no sting, and life has no end. For I have been thus far by the blood of the Lamb. I thank you, Jesus, for the blood of life to me. You have saved my life from me from the darkness into the glorious light. Oh, there's nothing stronger than the wonder of working power of the blood, the blood. We are ransomed by our Father through the blood of the Lamb. There's nothing stronger than the wonder working power of the blood of the blood. The We are ransomed by our Father through the blood, the blood. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood you applied. Thank you, Jesus, it has washed me. You have saved my life. Brought me from the darkness into the glorious light. Glory to his name. There to my heart was blood.
Amen. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah to that, Ate. Amen. Thank you, Ate. Praise God. Um, mag one praise song ako din. Uh, mayroon ka, mag praise song ka, Ate. One more and then mag close tayo. Okay. I love you guys. God, God, God loves you guys so much. All right, Ate. Thank you so much. Bless Sunday to you and take it easy, okay? Yeah. All right. Hallelujah. Thank you, then, Mr. Light. Thank you so much sa inyong lahat dyan. Narinig ba ang, ang music? Narinig? Love, love, love. Narinig, Sis Michelle. Oh, thank you, Sis Michelle. Love you all. Teka, teka. Eh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hindi ito ang ano. Late ako. Sorry. Ayan. Sorry pa. Saan na yung nakanta ko noon? Amen. Oh, Kuya Paul. Kuya Paul, sorry Kuya Paul. Uh, Mag-close ako. Uh, Alis kasi ako Kuya Paul. Uh, I-close ni Ji Chiang Wook. Uh, Kaya't ka Kuya Paul. Jerusalem that day Not a soldier through at a narrow street But the crowd presented to see A man condemned to die on Calvary He was bleeding from a beating The world's true Upon his spine, and he wore a crown of thorns upon his head, and he bore with every step the scorn of those who cried out for his death. Down the valley, to rose up on the way of suffering. Let the He chose to walk the road out of his love for you and me. Down the via, the La Rosa, all the way to Calvary. Por la via, the La Rosa, tres de día en Jerusalem, los soldados le abren paso a Jesús, mas la gente se acerca va para ver al Kili va al cuerpo.
al Calvario y a morir. Gabla, gabla, please, the sons of all men, y me desuelve. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Kuya Paul, I'm sorry Kuya Paul kasi at least ako Kuya Paul walang walang uh, mag-close kung akyat ka dito mag-praise and worship tayo ni Ate Ibing pero uh, may errands kasi ako importante puntahan Kuya Paul Kuya Paul ak uh, akyat ka Kuya Paul I have only 10 minutes left and then um, Kuya Paul hey, Kuya Paul, I have 10 minutes Kuya Paul sige na Kuya Paul 10 minutes maski mag uh, ano ka lang uh, mag praise praise and worship one or two two songs ayan at the evening are you all blessed are you blessed amen we're blessed today thank you so much for such a beautiful message today and i'm very touched and glad that uh, Bless and stand to everybody. Wherever you go, may the Lord be with you always. At uh, alam ko may lakad ka. Actually, may, la may gagawin pa rin ako. So, uh, God bless you guys. Bababa na rin ako because I have to go to the other church. Okay. Love you. Love you, Te. Maraming maraming okay. salamat, Te, sa pagsama mo dito. At saka no, sa bisita no, no. natin kanina si Richelle, ang kapatid yeah. natin na bunso, tawagin ko bunso. Uh, continue lang tayo sa uh, to serve the Lord so yeah. that we can also share to other people. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And, Kuya Paul, sorry Kuya Paul ha. Kasi talagang mayroon, na akong, mayroon akong lakad Kuya Paul na, na schedule na. Okay. Uh, okay. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat para hindi ako magmadali pa sa pag-drive. So, it gives me my time. So, um, then may hanapin pa akong papilis. Uh, importante. So, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Keep us safe and we're blessed. And um, God bless everyone. Thank you, Kuya Paul, uh, um, being here in the presence, no? At saka sa lahat, uh, we, we got, I catch you up later. <laughs> um, sa lahat, maraming salamat and uh, remind ourselves that uh, all suffering will end. Alright? And uh, our God is alive. Okay? So, maraming maraming salamat and ingat, amping kayo kanunay like me and my family and also the Kaara team plus one and also the KTB team and also our extended family in the community. Uh, God bless and we pray for one another, ha? Huh? And especially sa mga bata natin and also sa mga uh, elderly family natin, el elderly people, no? 
we have to help them um, uh, also in their needs. Uh, maraming salamat and be safe. God bless everyone. Thank you all so much. Huh?